Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Fist, and we return to the deep alien seas of planet 4546B in Subnautica. It's been quite a while since we've last played the game. It was, I think, back in June, perhaps. And we left off at a pretty pivotal point in the game as well. Because we are, if I remember right, right outside the containment facility for a certain specimen they have. So we are finally going to go and embark further and try to wrap Subnautica up. The reason being, Subnautica Below Zero is, I think, closer to release. It just had, uh, I think, a major story kind of change put in with, like, full voicing in that. So I want to have the original Subnautica done and under our belt before we'll start into Sub-Zero. So... I do know we came in here and we had an issue trying to get up here. That thankfully seemed to be resolved this time. Which is very, very good. So. We're going to get some more ion cubes from this. Just because I think that's what this giant... Yeah, this is just a block of it. And where is it we wanted to go? I think it was through here. Was it up this way? I really can't remember, if I'm honest. We'd explored all the side rooms. I think we had put stuff into all of them, because to the left and right were a bunch of the uh, portal doors, or the gateways. And I think we had scanned in here, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we can't scan the poor little guy, so we definitely have been through all here. It was just actually going... Oh. Well, aside from doing a little twerk there with the scanner in our hand, it was through that gate, I think, was all that was left. So, let's do that and finish that right on up. Oh. I don't have that tablet, surprisingly. I've got orange and purple, but not a blue. I guess we got to make a little detour back outside. <laughs> okay, that is... I don't remember those having sound effects, but... Wait, shouldn't those have come on... Shouldn't those have been coming on when we were coming in? Okay, a little... Oh, there's Gamma. That's right, we were using the uh, Greek alphabet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Uh-oh. Um... Let me in, please, because there are some nasty things out here, I think. Okay, right, so what do we need to make that last tablet? Um, tools. No. Employables? No. Tools? Equipment. Oh, we need kyanite. I have, don't I? Okay, right, let's see. Uh, do -do. I do have. Let's get that plugged in, everything sorted. Make the blue tablet up, and we can go beyond that door now. No, no, wait, I need to go back up. And we need to hop into Sopran. We want to get back in through here. And surprisingly enough, I don't see the... Oh! How are... Ye... You are defying gravity right now, sir. That is against the laws of physics. Get back here. Okay, now you can go do whatever you want out there, but there's no water in here. You can't float around in here. Okay, yeah, he is going on his way. Okay, maybe that did come on the first time, and I was just talking to you guys a little too much to really recognize it, but... Now we can finally progress. So let's hop our way out of here. In goes the tablet. Down goes the force field. And all we have left is the pool, I think. 
Yeah, I think that's all that's left. Is there anything back there, though? So it kind of looks like there's something up there. Okay, I guess we're too heavy to get up there, so... You guys ready to go down into the pool? Because there is something really cool that plays out once we get down here. the size of her. Like, this is what Subnautica really excelled at, was giving you a sense of scale of, you are tiny compared to the animals and the creatures on the planet. But that is the Sea Emperor Leviathan. I think it's a Leviathan. And this is the little tank that she's basically, I say little, well, compared to her, I'd say it is a little tank. It's a tiny tank she's been stuck in. Nope. She's been stuck in here as a basic test subject and research subject for all the time that the aliens who built all this stuff have been here and have been gone. Ooh, and we got something interesting here. Insert an ion cube. Oh, no, didn't I... I don't even have an ion cube. Oh, that is not. Oh, actually, the incubator. Yeah, she's not alone here. She's got eggs. Oh. Look at that. God, I thought I had an ion cube still with me. I, must, I had to have used them up for when I... Uh, when I made the key to get in, or the tablet. But that does raise a problem. Can I get out of here to actually get the cube then? It is... Oh, hello! <laughs> Okay, let's not <laughs> aggravate her or do anything like that. Okay, so it does look like we are at least going to be able to get up out of here. So we can get ourselves a cube proper. Ah! Oh, I wonder if the developers had to put that in because they realized... Wait, what happens if you, if the player is stupid and doesn't have the cube when they get in there? Uh, hmm, good point. We better do something about that. Okay, let's properly get some, a number of cubes just in case. Because we do have the handy dispenser right here. Oh, I do have the cubes. They're in. They were in the prawn suit. They get put into storage. That's right. I'm dumb, but that's nothing new for you guys. If you guys have been watching the series, well, not even the series, for any series on the channel for any length of time. I'm not exactly the smartest one out there. What the frick was that? Oh, oh, that's just that working. I thought we were almost like under attack for a moment there. That sounded just like a laser blast against or something. Okay, so I guess that just plays and takes it some time to make a new one. So we've got the proper ion cube, so we can go back down and in. And down we go. I wonder if she comes up to investigate us again or not. Because I have to admit, 
I have played through the game before, so I have encountered that, but I think if you had no idea about her and this, that would scare you so badly. And the funny thing is, she's probably the least scary thing in the entire game. She's basically your only, f well, one of your only friends on the planet. Oh, and I see a gateway up. Oh, there she is, just kind of passing on by. Okay. So let's put the cube in and see what we're dealing with here for the incubator. My yard need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. I can't even scan her. You gonna open that up for us? Oh, she is. Oh, thank you, Big Mama. And that is why we took out two ion cubes. With the passage you opened. My young can leave this place, but first they must feel the time is right and well, break free the their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. Okay, so there's a special... So these eggs require chemical reaction, or... Nope, can't scan that. Okay, so the Sea Emperor's life cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacteria on the Sea Emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface feed off the high volumes of microorganisms in the shallow waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring will likely split off at a young age form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps once a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying, in fact successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of this species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the Emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. And hatching enzymes. The Emperor specimen eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In normal life cycle, it seems likely that sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters, where different organic materials in the soil would trigger a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which would simulate the egg's natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. And the eggs. Okay, so the shell is uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds or thousands of years old. Even before they're hatched, the little things are older than we are. Alien tubes. Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely designed to supply them with nutrients and isolate them from the surrounding environment. An amniotic sac. Like many eggs on 45456b, these do not contain nutrient supply, which is slowly exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching conditions, and the fetal organism or the fetus inside of them. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. Likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably from ideal survival conditions for the parent. And the infection report. Ah, uh, 
Okay, been infected with previous unknown waterborne bacteria. I'm currently multiplying your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time is eight weeks. The immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficacy. You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. These will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your main priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommend steps, salvage further alien research data, investigate the mechanism enabled the ecosystem to survive through it. Oh, don't mean that, my bad. Okay, so we got to make the hatching enzymes, which in our data bank or our blueprints. There they are. So we need ice, ice stalk seed, sea crown seed, fungal sample, ghost weed seed, and bulb bush sample. Now, you might be trying to figure out, okay, that's going to be a lot of running around the planet. And normally, I would agree with you 100%. However, there is something about this facility in particular, which is... Ooh, uh-oh. Okay, well, this might take a little bit of dangling. So while we get our jet back, where we left off last episode has a very, very helpful secret to accelerating this process exponentially. Yeah, it's weird that it completely regenerates once you're, like, touched ground. But the secret is the portals that we had found and... Uh-oh powered up all around this spot. Like, all six of those portals actually are shortcuts to finding the ingredients for the hatching enzymes. And thanks to our prawn suit being fully outfitted, and also because I don't exactly want to take the uh, gamma up and down that much, we are going to make use of what we have right around us. So, let us begin from left to right. Ah, uh, whatever. We're going to start up over here. This was actually... I'm not going to explain it more. You guys saw my mistake. So, let's go on over here and go through the portal. And see what we'll find through it. As we've got all of these active, so let's make the most use of them that we can. There we go. Okay, so I think this is actually on the one of the islands. Maybe. Or is this underwater? I'm not too sure if I'm honest. Oh, it is underwater. And you can already see that there are the samples right out there we need. So that is going to be a bulb bush sample. So for that, I think we need to cut it. Or maybe we just need the prawn to drill it. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, we cannot drill it, so we need to... There we go. Sample obtained. And now we just start to go back and through that portal again to the next area. And it really is just as simple as going back and forth through all of these, collecting those samples together, and then... We can make the hatching enzyme back on the uh, Cyclops, or Gamma. But before we do that, there is something else as a side project. Actually, I have a couple of side projects I want to do in Sonotica before it ends fully, but... There's a very, very, very important side project we will be undertaking once we get the hatching enzymes kind of put together. Oh, no, you're not the spot we need. Back out we go. Uh-oh. Back out we... Okay. It does seem that there is an issue with the ramps. Okay. Yeah, I think we ran into that issue actually last time we were in here, or, like, before the series ended off, we had that issue. I think it has to do with the ceiling clearance, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe just the thing gets stuck on them? Okay, there's the next one. Dum, 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 dum. And we go! And I do admit, oh, loading does take a while, because there is a lot of stuff to process, and, like, you're basically jumping across this giant map that... Admittedly, it doesn't use a lot of loading screens. Oh. 
There we go. And let's get our way up and th out of here. So this is going to give us, I think, the fungal samples. Hey. Okay. Uh, at least I think that's what this is supposed to be. I know, this one might be a little harder to get back from. Oh, actually, no, it's not going to be that hard. I... It's... Okay, let's go get ourselves that sample. And, okay, we might actually have to go back to... Yeah, we will have to go back to the Cyclops to restock a bit, but what do we still need? Ghost weed, sea crown, and eye stock. Would eye stock actually be down here? Oh, almost. No, don't mean to step on you, sorry. I don't know why you're cruising the ground there. I thought this would be a good spot to find the eye stock. Well, maybe not. Well, there are still a number of portals to try as well, so... We're going to have opportunity to go through each one. Yeah, there's where we want to go back through. I do gotta admit, I really appreciate the developers having the thought to put these in, because if you are playing through the story and you really want to be fast and quick through everything, this is just like immediate. Oh man, I all how am I supposed to get all the way from down here, back up and find everything? But then it's oh wait. All the portals really help a lot with that. Whoopsie do. There we go. Okay, now to the other side of the room. I can't remember if there are three portals here or just another two. But we will try to get as much as we can. And probably once we get all of these pieces, we'll end the episode off there. I don't want it to run more than half hour. Just be... Oh, I guess we got to plunk this in. Let's set these up then. There's another portal ready to go. Let's get on through. So we're down at 611 meters at this spot. So this might actually be the blood kelp area, because I think there is something from there we need. Oh, Lost River, actually. Man, you really dropped down far from the Lost River to get into the... Ah, uh, the lava zone in that. So I'm trying to remember, what is it from here I need? Must be the ghost weed. That's it. Yeah, so we gotta find just a small sample of ghost weed somewhere. I don't think it'll be too hard to find, although... That's a bit of a biggie. Yeah, that's not it. Oh lord, okay, I think... I don't know if that was actually come... I feel like it knows exactly where we are, because it is coming over here quite a bit. I do not like that. For something that I thought was supposed to be a filter feeder, it's very, very angry. There's Ghost Weed. And there it is, angry, right behind us. Ooh. That was... close. Now we just gotta get back into our little nook here, and we should be safe. 
Relatively so, with her screaming behind me. Or it screaming behind me. Okay. So, we are very close now. We just have two more things to get. Let's get through that portal and look at... Ooh, actually, maybe we'll have to stop... Ah, no, we should be fine to stop by Gamma after we get everything. Because we're going to have to take Gamma on quite the journey to get us back up to main area, because I don't want to keep her down here. I don't think there's actually anything to, like, really use down here for her. Like, I don't think we have to gather that many more materials that'd be down here. Oh, no, okay, that was just kind of the egg room. I'm pretty sure we've been through that. So there might actually be one thing that the portal will not take us to get. Uh oh, oh, come on. What is going on with you? There we go. Oh, again? Oh, what? Oh my god. Okay, gotta admit, for some reason the prawn suit has terrible trouble indoors. Let's just try to get through this and be done. Like, like, why? Come on. Okay, at least we're going to be able to get this wrapped up. So we got, or close to wrapped up. Let's get our way through here. Get, uh, maybe the last two. I think we're going uh, probably only just the one, but we'll see. And we are actually very close to the surface here. Because we're at 278 meters down, which isn't that far. And this is also ooh, a bit different than the... No, no, I didn't mean to fall down. God, you handle about as well as you'd expect a giant thing like this to handle. Okay, up here... And further along this way. And through here. Yeah. Okay, so where are we? That's a good question. Where are we? Although I think what we're looking for... Oh, yeah, there's one of what we need. So there's the eye stalk. But there's still one more thing we need to find. Sea crown seed. I don't know if we'd be able to find it down here or not. This is an area we haven't actually even been to in the game yet. So I think this is the crag field, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, I'm going to head back right now, and there is still the one thing we have to find, but we'll probably be doing a little bit more than just that once we get out of here. Because the big thing was showing off Big Mama, who's trapped in the cage there. Okay, let's try to get across this without anything going wrong this time, and hopefully just exit into, the pr into uh, Gamma there. 
But we are really, really close to the end of the series because, again, I left this as quite the cliffhanger when Subnautica came to a little pause way back. And I wanted to have the main series, like the main game, done on the channel because A, it was a survival game, which was kind of the theming for the channel way in its earlier days. And also... Okay, right. Oh no, this is the way out. That's right. Oh, really? Even here? Come on. I don't know why the prawn suit doesn't like stairs or ramps, but... You, again, you're not supposed to be in here. That's it, get your butt outside. No, get outside. There, you stay outside and you think about what you've done. Although I think it might actually just be dead now, it's hard to say. Either way, it's at least not inside, defying physics. Oh, inventory's already full. Yeah, our samples have definitely taken up quite a bit of room. Okay, so let's head down into the stores and see where we can put some stuff. Anything in this? Surprisingly, yes. And yes, okay, well, we're released. So, one, two, three, there's the fungal sample. Okay, so that's good. Now we've got to gorge ourselves in order to get all our meters up. And then we'll just have to get that sea crown sample and we can make the enzymes, but there is some more stuff to be doing way up above. Vital signs stabilizing. The only thing I do want to figure out is where exactly the uh, portal in her... It is basically a cage for the poor girl, but where that comes out to. I think I remember it being somewhere near the, like, orbital defense cannon, but I'm not certain. Yeah, yeah, these trees are basically going to be picked pretty clean, but we did have at least gotten ourselves fully stocked up again there. So we will save here and end this episode of Somatica right here with our little return to the series for Sundays. Thank you guys very much for joining me, and if you have any comments, tips, tricks, anything at all about the series, be sure to leave in the comments right down below. And hopefully I'll catch you again in the next episode. I don't think Subnautica will really run that long, there's not that much really left in it, but I figure, hey, let's at least wrap it up before Below Zero is fully out. So, thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next episode. Please remember, as always, survivors, to take care and stay alive.